All right, y'all, let's get into the birth of the man-child and the alpha generation and these types of things because the baby boomer generation from 46 to 64, we have the 46th president who was born in 42, which is the 24 backwards, but the 64, six times four for that tick, tick, tock. The times is the 24. And then the add dings for those alarms is the 10 on the four and six. And that 10 is for that begotten son that's gonna be taken to the cross for the birth of the man-child. The birth of the man-child is coming with the birth of these nations. And as this nation has been divided and it's been brought to a test in 53, you're living in the fruits of that in 25. And the uh, five, three, two, five, make the Five, 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 and that would bring in that old heaven to its end, and we're going into the new heaven and earth, the 666, but the beast men, the old man, has been seared by the 666, and they can only go to the 555 frequency, okay? So, um, the old heaven and the new earth and new heaven or whatever, they're intermingled on this pyramid of time. All right, so as they're intermingled on a pyramid of time, you see the peak of a heaven and earth in one way with man, okay? And then we're becoming divided where man and the bridegroom are coming together, but man is here, and then the AI is here, or we're going to be connected and taken into the new pyramid, okay? So um, that's where these things are coming together. And as you're at this time, this pyramid is connected to another pyramid up here, okay? But you're in that spot there. So, the, the, the alpha generation, these kids, these are man-childs too. And these are old lights. These are old spirits. These are ones who have knowledge of earth, of the old ways. And our kids these days, um, if you haven't had the serpent climb up the old spine and bite the shit out of them or whatever... You're probably dealing with an old light, okay? Otherwise, the lights are being kind of diffused and they're going to be reset and re-taken re down because it's like being turned into the basic structure, basic beast man, basic man, where they can be regrown into that new hive, okay, into that new worker bee. Um, so this is where we see in Genesis 1, the sons of God coming. And then Genesis 2, we see the Lord God this projection of light coming down and, and, and projecting its light through a man, and that's where we get the begotten son worship of Adam and Jesus and all these things going back to the garden, which is the bondage. But this is where we see the birth <clears throat> of this other man-child in another time to where over the generations through the dust of the earth, um, through working and all these other things, he was able to make another man. And that was the ad dumb who had no knowledge other than the knowledge that the Lord God told me. He said, you can't have that tree over there. And then they ate the tree and they said, shit, they became as one of us. They become as gods. And it's trying to tell you, dude, your God is not sitting on a chair out there. Your God is in here. You are God. You are the sons of God. You are not the God. You are the sons of God. You are the living God. The body of God divided. That's where one man may be able to use his brain better than other people. That's where another man may be able to move his fist faster than other people. Or where one man can build his body up more than other people. There's things that we can all do. We can all build our body up. Or we can all get fat. Or we can all do whatever. Okay? But it's a, it's a test on the machine. Some people can do... The Olympic stuff. Some people can't. Some people can be a pool shark. Some people can't. So it's just all these things can be programmed or whatever, but some people rise up above us. And this is where we have God's uh, power divided. But it's up to us to find that single eye to figure out what we can do in our own lives where we can rise up and be the example around. Okay? Because we're all lights, but we have to figure out that light. They're trying to take your light from you and tell you what is good or what is bad or whatever. And it's a, it's a divided world. It's a blended world. Sometimes it's correct. Sometimes it's not correct. This is where we have to go in within ourselves. The single eye, like Jesus says, you have to go with your own right hand. You have to get your own keys and open your own doors. 
not just live in the confinements that your parents have cut you on, that your preacher keeps you in. They keep you in a box. You live in a box for a reason. Maybe these box that we live in, these walls that we live in, it's maybe one of the reasons why we get sick. Okay? We, we were told that this kind of shape, pyramid shape or that shape, whatever, can give the body powers or maybe we're being kept down through the box, the ox, and this is all working together. Um, <clears throat> but the man-child birth, okay, people aren't going to understand that they're down here and the bridegroom up here, they're not going to understand the bridegroom. And this is where the beast, man, they come eye to eye with the things and things go dark. And when it turns back on, they're fucking another person. They change in the twinkling of an eye. They already got changed here, but now the world stage, the extras and all these things are being called to action. And as they're called to action, the AC, the Antichrist, the Antichrist spirit has been moving for a long time. And the Antichrist spirit is anti-man. Having one child, having no children or whatever, that's a type of an anti-Christ situation. Okay, and you're losing the battle of evolution, of passing your seed, of all these other things, okay? And I'm guilty of believing these things, but also those kinds of fears that I had help me establish where I wasn't going to so-called have kids because I knew I was living in a time of end times. I have always been waiting on the Antichrist to show up since I was 14. And I've been seeking information on these things daily since then. So, some of us have the information we have because We've heard these seeds, and these seeds have grown into trees, and they've produced fruit, and they have told us that the pastors, that the churches, whatever, that the hospitals, that the textbooks, entertainment, whatever, it's not all what they crack it up to be. Okay? So, <clears throat> when this country is divided, when this temple goes dark, they have a preset temple. They have preset shit for you. Okay? But it's set up in such a way where the pinnacle of that last pyramid, of that mark, the 666, the beast man, they see it as such a bright light. It's so, it's so great. Okay? And that's where you get taken into bondage. That's where you get... To, when the, the shit gets flipped up down, you're the first to get splattered on the bottom of the glass at the sands of time, and you're covered up by all the other shit falling on top of you, by all the other people falling on top of you. And there's a bunch of you that's going to be hitting it. Because that sands of time, each one of those represents each person that has taken this, that, or the other, that has worshipped this hand, that hand, that number, that number, whatever. Okay? So the social security number, the retirement, all that shit is tied to the mark in the right hand and the worship of his name and number to do business, to buy and sell. So mark in the right hand to buy and sell. You're going into a world, into a heaven and earth, where you're not going to be buying and selling the same fucking way. So that's where the mark in the right hand to buy and sell is being placed on you. It's just where the jabs and the jobs. This is going to help give birth to the man-child. Because it's giving birth to a new system where man has to go and get treated or whatever they got to do to get rebuilt up. But it's also giving birth to another system. So it's just, it's, it works in a duality. You work in a positive and a negative, a negative and a positive. And it's 80-20, 20-80. And it works together. And as this, this force over here, this force that pushes against each other to create time, and to create these things. And, and also, another thing, is we're going into end time. 
So the internet, this takes away the time because some people are now getting jobs and working remote from Ireland or from Zimbabwe or China or whatever, right? And you live in America and you might have to get up at 3 a.m. or whatever to do a couple calls. So this is where the, the, the time is being taken out in one aspect. Okay, and we're also going to go into probably where AI redoes the body to where we don't need to count the years anymore because we have so many fucking years. So, um, either way, so the man-child birth, they're going to be cast down. They're going to come eye to eye, eye to eye with the top of the pyramid, and they're not going to understand that eye. And as it gets closes down on them, okay, they're going to get, that lid closes, they're going to get into a little jam, all right? It gets a little sticky in there. But a um, bunch of berries in that jam um, and peaches for that Georgia peach. <clears throat> the um, alpha generation, these are these old lights that are coming in. Um, and, and they're going to help reset Earth. And this is where sometimes you may be talking to your 10-year-old or 11-year-old, 15-year-old, whatever. And it seems like you're talking to an adult or whatever. Or, or like if they're an 8 or 9-year-old, they're like already a teen, having teenage stuff going on. It's because we're dealing with like man-child. And... Um, um, the, the, what, what, what we're taught, um, about this world is here to blind you and to keep you blinded and it keeps you blinded. So you can't see eye to eye at the top of the pyramid. And as that light goes down, you go down with that pyramid and you go down with that system and all those other things. So that, that broke down pyramid in Egypt and shit and the pyramids all over the world. Those are signs to you of this old heaven and earth coming back. And it's old heaven and earth <clears throat> of old. I am the ones, one of the ones who believes the literal and the spiritual. The literal and the allegory. Okay? So I believe maybe possibly... Um, or it might be reflecting to where we're going in a time when AI is able to come and program us to be whatever, all right, to, to certain capabilities. But um, I can see where the the giants, the hobbits, the fairies, the uh, Sasquatch, whatever, right? Um, the uh, the uh, Sasquatch, Bigfoot, that might be like, the first man and he's figure out a way to be interdimensional and work the light and cross in and out of uh, this light spectrum or whatever. That could be something with that. But um, these things are here and being revealed at these times and being gathered by God, the sons of God, man, and being put into a library. The lie is where the soap is, where we can cleanse ourselves or be taken down. But um, this is where uh, it gives us information and we're being brought into these times and these things are being shown to teach us about the future, but also about the past and maybe where things came from. So as the new heaven and earth came and the times of Noah or whatever, those times with the hobbits and giants or whatever, that could have ended, okay? Or um, the giants, it says, were in the earth and after. So the giants are actually maybe in the earth and maybe that's who's controlling the the earthquakes and volcanoes and all those other things it's it's uh it's kind of a half thing of what they're telling us but um as above so below maybe below is the gigantic world down in uh, antarctica or whatever they say goes to the underworld maybe that is the case and that's the gates of so-called hell but we're the hell on the opposite side so either way um our it'd be where this is all uh that's just all another video. Either way, the birth of man child, it's happening. Okay, and it's gonna be happening with the baby boomers and all their shit's taken. 